Today is August 13th, 2014, and a year ago today was the groundbreaking here at the Hoosier Energy construction site. We had a ceremony right here on the gravel pad behind me where the equipment rests. That's where the groundbreaking tent was set up for the ceremony. Uh, things have changed a lot in a year. Down the main uh, entrance to the building, uh, soon about where, about where the uh, green pipe is sticking up, there'll be a, a sculpture eventually out here in front of the building and it'll be a roundabout in front. So basically the traffic comes in, we'll go around the circle, there'll be parking back there, and of course uh, more parking to my right and on uh, to the south of the property. Initially there's a covered vestibule, and then we go through some glass doors where you see the wood framing, the glass doors will be there. Picture the reception desk in front of us and then a uh, ornate steps that goes up to the second floor on the left. Okay, if we can continue this way, this is a corridor. Here will be some wooden barn doors on along here. Uh, that that um, hides some food service for board meetings, etc. And then we're going to turn right here into the boardroom. And this this is our boardroom. You can, you can tell pretty easily what, what walls are going to be glass and which, which ones uh, are going to be video walls at this point. But obviously the walls with the, that have the sheathing on the outside, those are the two video walls on that side of the boardroom. And then if you look over here this way, that, that is a video wall. And then there's one yet to be built here where the conduit's coming up through the floor. So we'll basically have four video walls in this room. We're entering the uh, north wing of the building and off to my right here will be the Vice President of Power Supply, Dave Sandifer's office, currently being used to uh, store door frames at the moment. And then we have basically open office area down this direction. Dave's assistant will be outside his office. Over here to the left, currently storing all kinds of building material. This is the MISO area, the MISO um, fellas, power markets sit down here. Dave Stoltz's office back here in a copy room. And then this is the open office architecture for the rest of the power markets folks. Yeah, back in this back corner will be the compliance folks. They'll, they'll be there. In this corner on the first floor, we got the manager of safety and training. And uh, of course, uh, Lisa Wagner and um, other trainers and offices back in this area. And we have some open architecture along this wall. And we have the security offices on this end. That's basically the first floor of the north wing. The offices are in the corners of the building. Along the main walls is a open office architecture. And then in the core of the building are typically copy rooms, huddle rooms, meeting rooms. So that's basically how all the floors are set up. Com common areas in the middle, individual areas outside along the windows, management in the corners. Yeah, we're in the, entering the first floor of the south wing now. This will be the west side. This is uh, primarily um, information services area of work. So IS manager, network specialist, so we'll be working over here. In here, this is the, the server room. Uh, you'll notice the server room is uh, done a little ahead of everything else or a little farther advanced than other parts of the building and that is so that we can get the servers in here early. Uh, it's one of the first pieces of the building that needs to get completed. Over here for all employees, um, we won't pop by the basement stairway here, but over here is the kitchen and the dining area. The dining area is dividable, you can divide in, in uh, two um, and that's uh, I think the intention is that there's a, a spot for employees and then when we want to, want to have a place where board folks can come and eat lunch or come get their lunch, they can come in the, the other end of the dining room. Two doorways out, like I said, the dining room divides here. This, this uh, doorway will take us right out onto the terrace. The terrace is where um, it's intended to be used for dining outdoors and just a, a gathering place and a nice place to visit in the sunshine. Ben's getting us an overhead view of the lobby area. Um, what you see in front of you, what's now cable handrail, will be a nicer handrail. And this will be open to view down onto the uh, onto the lobby area. So. 
Okay, I'm entering the uh, second floor north wing where environmental offices will be. We have several environmental offices here along the uh, front corner and then open office area and a single office in the back corner. Over here is the environmental library, huddle room, etc. where like, like on other floors we have uh, offices to the outside toward the windows, management in the corners, and in the center are the common areas. Um, libraries, copy rooms, huddle rooms, etc. As we swing around to the east side of the second floor, going past the north stairwell now, um, we're into uh, the uh, power production area. And power production um, is in this zone, um, also in the, the corner office over on, the, on, on this uh, floor. Then we come, we'll have offices along these walls. Again, the open, open office architecture along the side. And then uh, down where that gentleman is working on drywall, that's where uh, he's working just outside the vice president of power production's office. These will all be set up with uh, video conferencing. All the, all the main offices will have video conferencing. There's basically you set up with a desk and table and chairs to entertain visitors or have meetings right in the office area. We're on the west side of the second floor um, on the south wing. Basically, the purchasing manager's office is behind me and to my right. And then the rest of this floor is open office area. The east side of the second floor south wing is for human resources. Uh, so down here we have the uh, analysts for uh, HR benefits and uh, compensation and things like that. And then up on this end is Bob Richard's office, Vice President of Management Services, and uh, also Chris, Chris Blanc, HR Labor Relations, and Lisa Kinder. Walking through, Ben, I sort of missed. I mentioned there was an office down here in this corner, and it happens to be the one I'm destined for. Uh, so. I think, I think my general orientation will be to uh, sit about here and then I should have a table and chairs over here. We should have excellent cell service here in the building once we're all done. We have a cell tower so close by. In the middle of this area is what will be a rain garden. So all the rainwater that lands on the parking area which surrounds it flows to the middle in the rain garden and then trickles out through an underground pond, which is the gravel area off to the right. Now Ben, this, this area on the, on the uh, third floor, west side, north wing, is finance and accounting. Again, open office architecture in between offices on either end of the, of the wing. It's always good to see a man on stilts. How you doing? This would be the Vice President of Finance and the CFO, Donna Snyder. This would be her area. So let's take a left here. This would be the way a, a dignitary would come in to visit the CEO of the company or join the uh, uh, meeting in the executive conference room. Okay, so we come in here. Uh, this is a basically an atrium area. You notice the skylight. If you pan up, you see the skylight. Uh, so. This, this is a basically a seating and welcoming area. Oh, we got some storage over here to the left. The executive conference room over here to the right. Uh, this is the gate to see the CEO. Uh, this will be where Melanie is, Melanie Turner. Uh, this is her area. So she is the gatekeeper. And then this is be how a visitor would come to Steve's office. Uh, you note there's a patio here. It isn't quite quite done yet, um, but the, both the executive conference room and Steve's office exit onto this external patio. Uh, this is where we got some visitor seating furniture. You can see the tape outlines on the floor uh, and Steve's desk be over here. And then a couple of visitor chairs here in gray tape. And then of course a table and chairs for visitors. And okay, we're coming into the south wing now on the east side of the third floor. Here, here we got Vice President Mr. Mike Rampley's office. This area isn't windowed in yet. We got window frames that are being put in. Um, this is on the back side of the building. It's been tough to get to. It's been muddy back there. So this, this, this area, as far as getting the building tight, has lagged just a little bit. Uh, down in this, in this far corner, we'll have uh, billing and forecasting. 
being down here in this corner. Again, open office architecture along here. Okay, so this is the uh, west west side of the third floor. Um, down in this corner will be the communications manager. Uh, we also have some open office architecture between here and uh, the north end. And we'll have renewables manager and the vice president of marketing all on this floor along this wall. Okay, we're in the basement area now looking south. Uh, the gravel area is the access road that comes down to the basement. And this double door is where goods will be received. So we're standing right now in the, re in the receiving area. Um, this is where any goods that come in uh, to, the, to the building, either for you know, kitchen goods or uh, office supplies or anything that gets received will come into this area. And then step through this doorway, and right here is the freight elevator. And th this freight elevator obviously will serve all the floors of the building, and uh, that's how we'll get material up and down through the building. Okay, continuing down the hallway, um, the basement hallway, to the left here is the mechanical area. And let's just walk in here. Um, what we have here is a, a group of condensers for the uh, uh, HVAC system. And air handlers on my left. It's a very complex building and a complex uh, control system. So uh, the fellows that do that are gonna have to be well educated on the systems and how to service them. Now we're headed south down the corridor again. This is the studio. This is where the camera guys will be uh, working uh, their magic. My understanding is we have, actually have a green wall there. That's a recording booth for audio work. So these are the video production areas. Uh, we, the studio is basically across the hallway. Walking up this uh, rough gravel road, this will be the access road that comes down into the basement of the building. Uh, this has been our primary construction access for a long time. So I'm confident the sub base is pretty well packed now.